Fayetteville High School's Lady Tigers picked up a pink out night win last week at home over Cornersville, 41 to 38. The victory over the Lady Bulldogs was exciting for the Lady Tigers, but even a little sweeter for Coach Kim Dye. In December of 2012, Coach Dye lost her grandmother, Fredna Ellis, to cancer. In lieu of flowers, the families requested donations be made to the Federal High School Lady Tiger basketball program. The pink and white uniforms the lady wore in their victory were purchased with those donations. Thursday, the Lady Tigers jumped out to a quick 14-5 lead and were on top 33-16 at the break. In the second half, the Lady Bulldogs battled back, taking the lead in the third, 25 to 24. But Kerry Brown hit a shot at the buzzer, and the Lady Tigers were up 26-25, going into the fourth. With 4.58 remaining in the game, Corners will again regain the lead, 32 to 30. But Tamiya Baker answered with back-to-back -back threes, putting the ladies up 36 to 32 with 2.27 remaining in the game. At the 15 second mark, the ladies were up 39 to 38. Freshman Sarah Lawson was fouled and dropped two from the line to salt the win away. Let's go to some of the play-by-play -play with WEKR, Jack Atchley and Donnie Hunt. Brad over here to the, the wall. Could have been. They're going to go underneath. Taylor puts up a shot. No good. They're going to fight for it. Kicks it out. My Moorhead. Moorhead has it for the Lady Tigers. Slow down. Good job there. Moorhead will drop it off to Horton. 2.18 to go here in the first half. 16-10. Horton three-pointer. She's in the game. Fires it right up. Horton with a three-pointer. Gives it to the 19. She didn't waste any time. Coming off the bench, she fires it in. 19-10, your score. Two minutes to go first half. Holding by Kerry Brown. Brown, give it up to Horton. And here comes the Lady Tigers. Probably gonna play for the last shot if we can. Hope will come out and get Horton. Horton working down the left side. We'll give it up to Moorhead. Moorhead brings it back out front. 36 seconds to go. We'll give it to Horton. To Baker, 31 seconds. Baker looking for some help to go down front to Kerry Brown. Brown with the basketball, 26 seconds. The Lady Tigers want to hold it. Brown working the left side. Needing some help now. Nope, she takes it back the other way, 20 seconds. Brown still with the basketball. We'll fire it over here, intended for Moorhead. She's mauled, no call. Can't believe there's no call. Yeah, man, what about the third? Hopkins is going to reach in and call. Call's on about the third mauling. <laughs> Maybe shot just a little too quick. Smart Pressure, move here. Pressure by yeah. the Tigers. Humbles. Hard to get it down. Stolen by Horton. Two seconds. He's got to put it up. And just couldn't do it. But a good job. He can't do it. Oh, 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 we'll take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Come on, guys. <coughs> Carol Lawson, he has four fouls, so we have to be a little careful. Uh, the Lady Tigers on the defensive end. Hopkins out front to Dunkelman. The three corner still drives in to the Hopkins. She's going to fire up a three. It's going to be no good. And uh, on the rebound, Horton comes away with it for the Lady Tigers. We've done a good job blocking out tonight. Horton now will slow it down. 7.25 to go here in the ball game. 26-25. The Lady Tigers leading by one. Wouldn't hurt one bit to get some points here. Amelia Baker. Top the key. Working the right side. Backs back out. Underneath it will go to Lawson. She gets it. Oh, had it in there where we wanted it, and they're fighting for it. Stolen by McKenzie Moorhead. Get in there. And Moorhead with the basket in the foul. Lady Tigers will inbound underneath it. Camille Baker will lace it up in Side, and Coach Dye doing a good job. This time, a minute 49 to go, 
the Lady Tigers leading by four. We will take a break. We'll take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds.